All right, I am here today with Deborah Dogbe from Business Seals Consulting in Omaha. Uh, and we are going to be talking about the state of Nebraska's concierge program. So hello, Deborah. Nice to nice to talk to you. Hi, thanks for having me. I'm, I'm thrilled to have you. Um, so before we get started, tell us a little bit about, about your company. So Business Sales Consulting Firm started in 2018, and our mission is to provide entrepreneurs with tools and resources to help with their business growth, as well as business development. In addition to that, I do help um, startups also get off the ground with the adequate and appropriate resources. I also, I mean, I offer a uh, plethora of services, including marketing products, branding, signage, web development, graphic design, and anything that your company needs to, um, to brand itself and to position itself on the market. In a nutshell, that's what I do. I'm a business consultant. Very good. Um, and had, before you started working with the folks from the state, have you done any work with government before? Um, no, I, before um, the state of Nebraska, no, I haven't done any work with government per se. Um, I was a federal government employee. And also years back, I served as a Peace Corps volunteer and I dealt a lot with government when I was serving as a Peace Corps volunteer overseas. Got it, great. Um, so, so let's talk about this, this concierge program. First of all, how did you, how did you hear about it? So I help entrepreneurs with opportunities and resources. And one of my main thing when it comes to minority businesses or minority um, entrepreneurs is to find opportunities for them, you know, with contracts, and also to help them with their sales and business growth. So I approached um, this program. As I was doing my researches, I realized there is an opportunity to become a government contractor. So I reached out to, to them and luckily I was, um, I was on a conference call I was in a conference call with Robert and he walked me through the process. Got it. And so, um, yeah, tell us a little bit more about that. Like, what was that experience like working with, um, with Robert from the state? You know, that experience exceeded my expectations because, um, you know, there is this belief that when you're dealing with government is not necessarily or always pleasant. But when I was on that Zoom call with Robert, he took his time to explain the process to me. He demonstrated the process. He went to the website, like any um, entrepreneur, any business who go to the website and find information. He walked me through the process step-by-step step. and um, he let me also ask questions if they were, there was anything that I didn't understand, he will explain it to me. And he came up with different scenarios. That's what I really appreciated. He came up with different scenarios as I didn't have, you know, a lot of questions, but he came up with different scenarios. And then he helped me walk through the process step-by-step. Step. That way, when my customers come to me, I'll be able to resolve their issues and I'll be able to help them. And then he made himself available via email and phone. That way, if anything comes up that we did not really discuss, he will be able to help me with that. Got it. So it sounds like he was really helpful, almost like a coach, helping you, coaching you through the way that the state works and how to do business with the state. Yeah, that's exactly what he did. And he even told me that's what he's there for. He really wants um, businesses and especially minority businesses to 
take advantage of that opportunity going forward, especially with the pandemic, that um, they're available and they want to see a lot of businesses use that resource. Got it. And so just one thing I, uh, you could help me understand, is, it, is your firm going to try to do business directly with the state or do you advise other minority-owned companies about how to do business with the state? Yes, absolutely. I'm working on a proposal right now um, and I'm also checking all the bidding opportunities out there. That way I can match it with my uh, my services and my products in order to take advantage of it. And every time I meet with my clients, I also give them that option and I explain the process to them that there is this possibility and opportunity that you can benefit from. Absolutely. I would love going forward for my clients and minority-owned businesses to take advantage of that opportunity and to benefit from it. It sounds like you're almost a multiplier that by the state working with you and sharing with you, you're able to go and share with people even outside of the folks that talk to the state directly. Yes, that's what I do. That's what I'm here for. I love what I do. I love when entrepreneurs come with me with different ideas and great ideas from start to finish. I walk them through the process and help them have an established business and also grow their businesses. Very good. Um, is there anything in particular, was there, was, there, was there one thing in particular that you learned in working with Robert and talking with Robert that you think really will help you become successful in working with the state? Yeah, so um, I learned that you just literally have to, you know, read the requirements in order to benefit from those opportunities. It doesn't take a lot if you really um, read through the, the requirements and just apply to your situation. It's a very easy process um, if you really um, pay attention to what it says. And when you pay attention to the deadlines, it's a really easy process. People think, you know, um, it might be complicated or they're asking for too much, but really when you read through everything on the website, it's a very easy process. Very good. Well, it sounds like it's been a good experience and I know you're at the beginning of your journey working with the state and, and hopefully, um, you know, that turns into, you know, the opportunity to, to actually win some contracts and, uh, and to be able to hire more people and all the great things that entrepreneurs do. So uh, I wish you the best of luck and um, thanks for sharing your story with us. Thank you so much. And yes, I'm looking forward to winning those contracts with the state of Nebraska. Well, I'm, I know that, that uh, the Department of Administration, uh, that they take competition very seriously. So I'm sure that it'll be very difficult, you know, tough competition to win, but um, you know, best of luck to you and, um, and thanks for sharing your time with us. Thank you so much. Okay, take care. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.